liking to watch a cappella, it's a love or hate thing. Usually people love it and uh, once they hear it, they understand why it's uh, so beautiful. First of all, it's an instrument that you cannot touch. It's something that you cannot see. So you, instead of taking your violin and playing a tune, you choose to do it with your voice. And then I guess it's the part of uh, the social part, the social element of working with, with people and singing together and, and creating something beautiful. So nobody's re ever rejected. And people who tell you a singer can't sing or a singer's out of tune, for us, we believe that everybody can sing. It's just a matter of what they've learned along the way, you know, how to understand what they're doing with their voices. And so maybe they have some issues uh, trying to match the pitch. Uh, there is nobody that cannot sing. We're building a community, so people are coming, they're learning. The people who learn and, and invest in their time or their money in, in courses, they are the ones who will come back to watch the shows and learn more, take the, the workshops. This community of people will bring their friends, it just grows. With the children, it's very important that we teach them about the social elements, not just about singing, but how to interact with each other. The other thing is also the musical uh, foundations about how to to use their bodies and, and music and movement in, in that sense. The most important is we need to set up a full-time a cappella group. This full-time group will be the core team that will infiltrate all the different schools. They will teach, they will conduct choirs. A lot of stuff that we are still doing right now but at a very, very slow pace. If we have a full-time team, uh, all the energies is spent on making all these new music and recording and really, you know, really being artists.